Hello everyone, welcome to learn SAP FICO. Friends, today we will learn about accounts receivable. What is accounts receivable? SAP FI accounts receivable records and manage accounting data of all customers. Sundry debtors and trade receivables are known as accounts receivable. Sundry debtors will be created as GL in SAP through the decode FS00. During creation of this GL, we select D for customers in reconciliation account field. These sundry debtors or sundry creditors are known as reconciliation account. Direct postings are not possible in reconciliation account. Entry will be posted through the subledgers. Individual customers are known as subledgers. Customers account will be created through FD01 or XD01. For each customer, we create separate account. That account is known as customer master data. The entry is customer account debit to sales account. Here, customer account reflects at two places. First is in individual account and second is in reconciliation account. In individual account, customer's line item report can be seen by FBL 5N T code. And in reconciliation account report can be seen by the T code FBL 3N. Now these are the steps for accounts receivable configurations. Step 1. Create GL through FS00 for example domestic trade receivable. Select trade receivable account group in type and description. Recount account for account type D for customers in control data tab. And open item management will not tick because reconciliation account already tick open item management. Now we will do practical. This first step go to SAP. Here we will run the T code FS00. First of all, select your company code that is Tata. Here, now trade receivable will come in current asset. Trade receivable, or we can say sundry debtors, all comes in current asset is a part of current asset so we'll have a this advanced to vendor gl in current assets we will just copy this and change the gl number one enter here it is same current assets balance sheet here we will change the short text for domestic customers. Here we will change the long text. domestic customer account now click on this control data here we will just first give the currency INR for India here we will change it select this and here we will select this customers in a recon account for account type customers now give click on this line item display then give sort key double zero one. Create bank and interest under this like this G067 for reconciliation account. Then click on scale. Like this you can create your customers GL. Now we will get back to the presentation. Now step 2. Define customer account group. With screen layout, T code is OBD2. 
to configure sub ledgers like for example raw material trade receivable or one time receivable the account which we don't want to create permanent master data that is called one time customer or one time trade receivable to segregate the customer we create customer account groups under the t code obd2 as we created in a vendor account group also now same as we will create customer account group under the t code obd2 go to sap run the t code "-o and obd2" here we will create customer account groups click on this new entries here give the account group name t t 0 t d c TADC means Tata Domestic Customers or Domestic Trade Receivables. Then here we will click on this company code data, double click here, then click on this account management. Here we will select these fields for your customer accounts. Here we will click on this reconciliation account as required entry or mandatory. Then click on this save. Here we will select our request that is for data. Continue. We will get back. Here you can see TADR data domestic trade receivable has created. As you can create your customer accounts group as per your requirements now we will get back customer account groups control two things first is it controls the number series of customer master data second is field status of customer master data screen field here we will click on this reconciliation account is mandatory in field status as we have done this configuration. Now step 3 create number range for customer account under the T code XDN1. Now go to SAP and run the T code XDN1. Enter. Click on this intervals. Here we will select our number range or you can create new number range. Click on this insert. Here you can create new number range series. I am creating for N0. Zero then click on save. Enter intervals without overlap. It is already exists with the 
same number series so first we will check because it has many number range series or we can choose from this for example I am taking this 16 number series because it has zero transactions so if you want to create your new so click on this insert line here you can give number range and one or any two digit number then we'll give the number series then click on this save now we'll get back Next step is assign number range to customer account group with the T code OBAR. Now we will assign the number range to our customer account group OBAR. Here select your customer account group T A D R. It is the account group which we have created now. Here we will select the number range 15 or you can see the list by pressing F4 key. Here I am taking this 15 and save. Continue. Data was saved. Now we'll get back. Now next is define tolerance for customer and vendor under the decode OBA3. In this step, we define the clearing limit for customers and vendor. It is mandatory step, but we have defined in a accounts payable so it is a one time configuration which we have created in a accounts tables in a previous video we have created so no need to create again 